what's up y'all uh i am talking dragon hoops today um this book is by jun yang hopefully i did not butcher that i'm sure i did uh this was the last book that i read a graphic novel for this class uh hopefully there weren't any more <laughs> um but this this was a cool story i really liked it um there was i had one issue with it but i'll get to that um so the story is about the author it's a true story um he's teaching at this high school and uh this everybody's super excited about the basketball team this year um and how they're doing they're doing really well so he wants to like get to know the team so he goes and meets with the um athletic department and starts getting to know the team um realizes that the whole team is very unique and very diverse uh more so than most other basketball teams um and he decides to chronicle uh the story <clears throat> um and i pulled this slide because it's from it's from the book it kind of shows his like uh when he got into comic books and decided he wanted to be a comic artist um and then ended up teaching but still doing uh, what he wanted to do and still doing what he loves. Um, and he writes himself into the story, which is really unique and really cool for a story in and of itself. And then you go on to explore the theme of like diversity in sports. And, um, he talks about some of the hard, uh, he talks about some of the things people don't want to talk about, about sports, like the, uh, racism that the, was very prevalent in sports and still is in a lot of ways, but, um, specifically in the past, um, with um there's there's a section that talks about um like white supremacists and their view on um athletics and how that should go down um and then there's also a panel that talks about um modern day like how the WNBA doesn't uh receive the kind of viewership that the NBA receives because um and he says in the slides that it's um there's people saying like nobody wants to watch women play basketball and awful stuff um when there is in fact a woman on this state championship team that he's chronicling uh so it's it was really cool to see that the one issue um so yeah so it did it it comes back around to um diversity in sports and um, diversity in general and how cool that can be um, and also following your dream like doing what you love to do even when you're doing what you have to do and even if what you have to do is something you also love so he loves teaching and he loves comic booking so he combines the two and that's really cool and puts himself in the story I like that um, the one thing I had an issue with was his fourth wall breaks um, always seem to come at like <sighs> he breaks the fourth wall a lot which can be cool, um, especially in a comic book style graphic novel like this. Um, but they always come at like parts of the story that aren't written that great. And um, it kind of came across as like, a, if I say it's bad, you can't say it's bad kind of thing, um, which just weakened the writing for me in general. It just took me out of the story a little bit other than that it's a great book definitely recommend it um hits on a lot of important subjects um with sports i came into this book having never played basketball really i was never a basketball player um i was always way more into baseball and football um but if you like basketball you would probably really enjoy this book and even if you don't i still enjoyed it so definitely give it a read thanks for watching uh, i'll catch you in the next one Peace.